Okay, everyone, uh, we're talking about the same problem for the proficiency exam 27, which I have solved in the previous video. And, you know, I, I have um, I've chosen the, wrong, the longest method to solve. Now, for this type of problem, and if you have a system of equations, you can always go ahead and use, uh, you know, um, probably the best method will be uh, elimination. So basically, if you have the two, um, you have the two equations, right? And you're looking at the way in which you can add, subtract the two expressions and eliminate one of the variables. And in this case, I'm looking at, you know, the coefficients of each variable. I got 2x, I got negative 4x. I got 3y, I mean negative 3y, positive 6y. Let's go with the x. Let's try to eliminate x. If I multiply the first equation by 2, I'm going to get a 4x. And if I will add the two expressions, x, the, the x will cancel out, right? So let's do that. I'm going to multiply the first expression by 2, first equation. Your system will be now equivalent to this one. 2 times 2x will be 4x. 2 times negative 3y will be negative 6y. 2 times 12 is going to be 24. The second equation does not change, does not uh, transform. I would be negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 24. And what I'm going to do next? Well, I will add because my goal was to eliminate x. What's happening here? Well, I got 4x minus plus negative 4x will be nothing. Next column, the y's. Negative 6y plus 6y will be nothing. So I have 0 on the left side. Bring down the equal sign. Equals 24 minus 24 is going to be 0. Well, 0 equals 0 always. Which means how many solutions I have for the system. An infinity, right? So basically, if you would have multiplied the first expression by negative 2, you would have obtained the same equation. And as you can see, the two lines, if there are two lines, are identical. So basically, you have one line. There is only one line, or you may say two lines that are overlapping, that are coinciding, and that's why the right answer for this problem will be D. Okay? Because as you remember from the previous video, the point with the coordinate 6 and 0 will verify both equations. The point with the coordinate 0 and negative 4 will verify both equations. But neither Fred nor Ethel is right or are right because we have an infinity of points that will verify those two equations. And those points altogether will be nothing else but the lines. Okay, which are identical, will basically be only one line. So this is the shorter way to solve the same problem that we previously solved by trial and error, by just plugging back into the equations the points with their x and y that uh, Fred and Ethel uh, claim to be the answer to the given system. Okay, thank you very much, and I will see you soon.